BIOS Mobile Remote is an application on both Android and iPhone operating systems. It allows you to use your phone just as if it were an actual BIOS TV remote. To set up, press Menu on your remote, and this will open the BIOS TV menu. Scrolling down, select Widgets, and press OK to open. There are several different widgets available on Fios TV. In this case, the specific set of widgets you want to find is the Fios TV Widgets Pack. Press OK to open. Scrolling up to All and tapping right, you can select the Fios Mobile Remote widget. Press OK to open the setup screen. On this screen, you can see the name of the widget a description, the price, and developer info. Press OK to launch the mobile registration screen. Here, you will see your mobile number listed. Press OK to confirm. You will see the mobile remote connecting in the upper right hand corner of your TV, along with the set top box number it is configuring with. This screen is your mobile remote home screen. Here you can access favorites, settings, and more. To launch the remote, tap My Remote. You can use the remote just as you would your regular Fios TV remote. Tapping the minus and plus volume icons, you can change the viewing volume, and you can see this reflected on the TV. Tapping the mute button will mute all sounds. If you have any favorite shows or movies saved, you can access them here by tapping on the favorites icon. Since I don't have any favorites saved, I will tap up and press OK to return. Tapping the Fios TV icon will launch the Fios TV menu and you can continue to tap on the Fios TV icon until you have returned to the full screen view of what you were watching. If you want to scroll through the channels one by one, you can do this by tapping the plus and minus channel icons. The guide button is a shortcut to the detailed guide for Verizon Fios. Using the arrows on the directional pad, you can scroll up or down to move through different channels or left to right to browse different times. Tapping the last icon will return you to the last channel you were viewing. This button makes it easy to jump back and forth between two channels. With Fios Mobile Remote, users also have the ability to access On Demand. Tapping on the icon with the star will launch Video On Demand. From here, it is exactly the same as your normal remote. Tapping here, I will return to the menu and press Exit to return to the last show I was viewing. And just as a reminder, you can also use the last button to do this. To find out more information about the show you are currently viewing, tap on the info icon. And a pop-up window will appear on your TV with additional information. Tapping on the info button additional times will bring up additional information such as rating, network, and episode number. Tapping menu and exit again, I will return to the show I was viewing. As we mentioned earlier, the last button is an important button to be familiar with. Here I have scrolled to a different channel accidentally. However, a simple tap on the last button will return me to the correct channel. In the bottom center is the icon for DVR controls. Tapping on this will launch your mobile DVR remote. This remote gives you the same functionality as your Fios TV remote. Here, I will tap record to begin recording, and I will tap record again to open the stop recording menu. 
Returning to the main remote, you can press OK to stop the recording. One last time you will be asked if you are sure that you want to stop recording. Since we are finished, I'll tap yes. Sometimes a keyboard is necessary while browsing your Fios TV channels. Tapping on this icon will launch a dual function keyboard with a number pad and a QWERTY keyboard. Tap back to return to the mobile remote and enjoy watching Fios TV.